the Weird Bubble. Welcome back to the Bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, I faced my fears and ran around amongst a bunch of spiders. Not my favorite moment in this game so far, but I did unlock my talent tree. Uh, and I spent a lot of points in uh, in the talent trees. But also, one thing that I'm kind of disappointed at, at is that holding dodge would make me... Um, Teleport to like a nearby location, but that doesn't seem to work on keyboard, and that's something I still haven't found out really how to do, to be honest. Um, but one thing that we will find out is how to fly, and also I took the liberty to change my appearance, and this looks really bad ass. So without any further ado, let's start the uh, flying lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be uh, a hoot. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal Hello. today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom! Interesting, let's see if we can say up. Uh, up. There we go. Pure natural talent. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. This will be a really amusing uh, way to spend the money that I make in this game as well. Because I believe you can buy a lot of stuff for your broom. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, so let's learn how to fly, now, shall we? For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Absolutely. So, I ascend on space and descend on control. Cool beans. Oh, please. This will take some getting used to. Oh, I wish I had my own broom. Get good and lean. Interesting. Didn't go very well fast, done. though. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I looked so much forward to this class. And uh, getting a broom of my own as well, this so that I can transport a lot quicker. We'll take you around the grounds. For more of a challenge. Right, toggle flight speed. Wee! What a view! Indeed. Uh, hello. And, uh, hello. Nice day for a flight. Indeed, Everett. Indeed. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Doesn't look like I can go a lot faster than this. Ah, uh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Indeed. So do I, my friend. So do I. Doesn't go very quickly. Or doesn't it go very fast Whoa. when flying? Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance oh in no, while. what the <laughs> hell? Ah. 
And this place I recognize because I've run around here before. Beautiful waterfall. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Famous last words. bad. Went really slow, though. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Um, hmm, sounds like an opportunity to learn something, and won't get in trouble will most likely lead me absolutely nowhere, so let's say that I like the sound of that. that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Bit of a detour. The tour oh. is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Wee! Dude, you need to decide how you want to fly. It's all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Right. So beautiful. Okay, I need to return to the area. Oh my god! Really? Just a five second tour? And I don't know why, but turning left on the keyboard made me turn right in the game. Interesting. You need to escape a tricky situation. Room control, speed burst. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not uh, total flight grip? speed, control, right. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Now, and again. Armory. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Turning is really bugged out. This is quite what the, the tall Everett. There we go. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. Because the controls are weird. Okay. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Yep, I am trying. Oh right, I can't. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. P press B, dismount and descend from your big broom. Come on, landing is unavailable. There was available. Okay. So that really takes some getting used to. The controls felt really, really weird. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still- Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor- Enough. Class is finished for the day. Short class. As for you, you do well to use better judgment. Okay, time future. to suck up to the professor, so don't lose any points. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. So now I should be able to do some practicing on my own, or maybe I need another quest for that. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. No regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. But if really you had didn't a fancy feel like model, you could fly laps around Imelda. 
She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. Okay. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So, that sounds like complete main quest. Ooh, that's a challenge complete. And a talent point at that. But, oh, uh, why can't I? Do the teleporting stuff really pisses me off. Okay, let's open our quests again, shall we? Maybe first of all, complete our challenge. And we got a hero appearance reward for that. Legendary armored attire. That looks really cool. And this mask looks badass as well. Already 65% of field guide pages and also already a fourth on the way of the quests. <laughs> right, what do we have now? We have Professor Sharp's assignment, which is one thing we should do to complete the first Keeper trial. And I will actually be learning a skill there. So I think... Before going to Professor Sharp's assignment, I will do this uh, Descending for Sweets, because that will bring me to Hogsmeade, and hopefully I can uh, take the time to purchase a broom while I'm there. So I've trying to... about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Revelio. Absolutely. there. Okay. So, I need to find Sebastian later on as well, but that sounds... I wonder if that's a side quest. Probably not. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. What I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from... <clears throat> so, it sounds like we have a lot of stuff going on. But first of all, I want to go um, do this Hogsmeade thing to make sure that I pick up a broom. Really might be a quicker idea to uh, teleport my way there, to be honest. Running takes quite a long time. Man, that broom thing was trippy. Right. Um, One-Eyed Witch, you say, and it looks like the area in which I can find it is quite Rebellion. large. Also, always keeping an eye out for uh, the Dalian Keys, just in case I were to find one. Because I think I have three left, I believe, um, to finish oh, that nice quest. You, my young friend. Thank you, you too, to find the Dalian Keys. Alright, anything here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope, 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 nope. What about this way? This will be just a this bunch of. Like right oh. statue. Hello. Now, what was the password? Caput Draconis. Really fortunate that I don't have to remember Descendium. the password. Descendium. Ooh, that's sneaky. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Please tell me there's a Dedalian key here. Revelio. No. Some things here, though. Big old box of. Okay. I think a bit of a discretion a might be in order. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Yeah, and also, how the hell do I get there? Can I accio it? I wonder. New. Can I put stuff on fire to get there, or do I just have to, like, jump I need my to way? to fix the lift before I can use it. Okay, that did not work. At all. My journey has ended. Let's retry it, shall we? And hopefully I'll just respawn right here at the lift. Okay, so... Oh, right, I'm such an absolute... 
Looks broken. Yeah, looks broken. So, might be a good idea. Actually, might want to um, open up all the other... Um, at least one more spell diamond, though. That one might be good. So, I won't be able to get all the spells. That's what's kind of... Makes me hesitant. Uh, blocking a spell with perfect protego will send two projectiles back. I think that might be a good idea. And also everything... Everything that gives me ancient magic I think might be a really good idea as well. So, now I'm out of talent points. And I want to save the rest basically for all the dark arts stuff that will be going on. So... Now, I do have my uh, third diamond here, so then I can use Reparo on that. I still only have one control spell and only one force spell as well. I need to start learning more spells. Okay, so here we go. Reparo. Just like that, everything worked out just fine. I'm such a muggle in this game. It's almost almost embarrassing, if not for the fact that I thoroughly enjoy the that entire experience. Right, uh, we do have one blue thing there. We have a chest here. Your gear slots are full. Really? Feels like my gear slots are always full. So, hand gear, do we have any 60 stuff here? The 60 I will destroy, but I also should be selling a lot of stuff instead. Are the gloves taking up my entire inventory? I need to go to Hogs. Maybe I don't have to throw away a lot of stuff because when I get to Hogsmeade, I might be able to. Um, Revelio. Might be able to sell a lot of it. Because now I think I'll. Spent, well, it's a couple of hundred for sure. Um, just destroying my inventory because I don't have room for it. Right, that was a spell that I should have gotten as well. Running while invisible. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Yeah, I've only been here for five minutes, man. Still, doesn't cease to surprise me either. 34 gold coins. Thank you. 34 galleons, I suppose. That's a lot. No way, 34 galleons. That's one thing that's quite weird with Hogwood Legacy, that they don't really honor the uh, currency formats. There's only one type of money, and that's the gold coins. But there should be at least two more. At least two more. And doesn't seem to be a lot of enemies here. Oh no. Spider's webs. Incendio. Well, that didn't. Okay, right. That was much more effective. Doesn't look like any spiders are nearby though. And I bought the talent, or I got the talent, that makes the casts Revelio on a much bigger area. Is there anything to do down here? No? No, nothing to do here. Incendio. That's cool. Up I upgraded that skill as well, so I get that huge ring of fire, the Yoni Cash version. Whenever incendio. throwing Incendio. Uh, and that's super cool. I like area of damage effect. Okay, so I'm supposed to Trapped. Levioso that thing. How am I supposed to get out of here? Just like that. I guess. Beautiful. That worked like a charm. Revelio. Hope I haven't missed anything imp of importance here. This feels like a long... Going to have to get past this. Long ass tunnel. Uh, even more Monet. Some shrooms, and why did something move in the water? Oh, 
that nothing will come uh, my way to attack me. Knock on wood. Okay, we also have stuff. Rebellion. On over there. No idea how to get there though. Maybe I should have done some jumping, climbing stuff. Over there. Maybe. Right, what am I supposed to do with that one? Reparo. Reparo, look at that. I'm learning eventually. Okay. Revelio. Nothing. I'm still just run past that. Levioso. But maybe that's okay. I hope so. Uh, should I be Reparo? Okay, not Incendio and stuff. Nothing more to be Reparoed. However, Accio. some incendio. more stuff to Incendio for sure. A lot of spiders' webs around here. Revelio. Why did you give me the path to a place that you never use yourself? Okay. And run down that way. However, I can repair all that thing. I wonder what that could be used go, make it across. for. Accio. Can't Accio it. And... Revelio. Might not be a good idea to jump over here either. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. Now I need to find some way. To get there. Aha. Got it. Did I though? Accio. Really? Are you saying? Are you telling me that I can't Accio that thing? Okay. Guess we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way then. Jumping. Revelio. Now I do believe. Can I bombard anything here? I don't think so. Do I? And incendio, incendio, some more spiders webs. Revelio. Just to make sure that no spiders are running around here. Oh, this is beautiful. Massive toads. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Absolutely marvelous. Okay. So, what else can we do here? Okay. This must be the way out. A way out. That was a long run. I wonder, do I, I need die to find a way I... to open that gate? If I just swim here. There we go. Oops, the daisy. There we go, and search the chest. My gear slots are full. Oh again, I really need to complete the work on these uh, Merlin trial stuff. So that I can unlock some more gear. Looks like we're starting to throw away some uh, 90 stuff. There we go, and also, what? Got some kind of cloak. That's too good for me. I can't unlock it yet. And I could. Did, what, was I just running around with that basic thing? Awkward stuff. Okay. So, now we should be able to hopefully open this chest, and I got Golden Snitch Scarf. Can't do anything more in here. No. Can't bombard out any of that stuff. Golden Snitch. That's a weird prison nickname. Revelio. Okay. And I suppose we need to set some stuff on fire. Do we? That's one. That's two. And what am I supposed to be doing with this one? Something smells sweet. Right. Let's be close to Honeydukes. Close to Honey Dukes. I will collect some stuff wherever I can find it. Looks like they are leaving quite a lot of money around. Revenio. There we go. And I do believe this is it for the basement. Can't I can hardly imagine um, Harry 
running all that way to get to Honey Dukes. That does not sound Fox like something in from the books. Okay, right. One eyed witch passage. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Oof. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? If I was a dried billywig sting, where would I hide? I have the dried billywig stings. What is now, this? Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. What? Oh, damn. That was probably not a good idea. What happens if I walk out of here? Hello. Now, I'd love to go... Um, to the broom stuff and buy myself a broom. And in the meantime, also Revenge. sell... Some more of all of this uh, stuff that I'm carrying around. Right, there's the exit. And then, of course, uh, once I've bought the broom, I will be returning to Gareth. And collect my reward. Oh, there are a bunch of quests here, aren't there? A demanding delivery. Oh, yes. We have some things to do here, for sure. Um, the Spint Winter Sporting Needs. That sounds like a place where I should be uh, able to buy myself a broom. Let's do And also, now that my Revelio is um, passed over a much wider area, should be able to get more... Um, to collect more field guide pages. Who needs keys when you know how? Uh, you would think. Okay, and I wonder, is that one of those I see you chests? No, it's just a basic one. But first of all, I want to I want to sell some stuff just so that I don't miss out on any uh, good equipment or any Rebellion. nice gear. Almost there, and once I'm there, sell everything because the appearance stays. Right, uh, Spin Witches Sporting Needs, run by Amiable Albi Weeks uh, or Weekies. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albi himself is working on a number of broom enchantments. Cool beans. Wouldn't mind if I helped myself to some of your inventory, would you? Uh, hello, Albie. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Look at that, Albie I look Weeks so friendly. Your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Indeed. Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Right. Right, huh? Uh I actually want to ask, ask some more questions. More Maybe that will help brooms. me. I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. So nice, so wholesome to hear someone that passionate about what they do. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Thank you. Uh, I'll have a look. Thank you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. So, selling gloves is something that I'm going to have to do right now. What are we looking for today? 
first of all, selling some stuff. That is actually something that I'd rather like to equip, to be honest. And that one as well. I will sell everything that's worse nice than whatever I'm uh, wearing car currently. And remember that I still have the appearance. No need to worry too much about that. Okay, I actually do have some things. 40, 40 plus, 35. So, I'll be selling that one. And then, let's see what I want to buy. Ember Dash. Perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Hmm. I want to go with a Hogwarts house broom, actually. I pre that preview that one. The highest quality. I don't like the look of this one. They all cost the same. So now I do the highest quality. Oh, this is the one I've seen a lot on YouTube most likely. The fire on the backside. But I think I want to celebrate being a Slytherin. So You'll be thrilled with that I will purchase I'll that one. You. And now I think I'm actually ready because why run around with a whole bunch of brooms? Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. And you're telling me this now? You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! <laughs> enhancements, right you say? About you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An Indeed. ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I say yes, but first I have some questions. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate no Everett bad said habits. you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Okay, that's something I'm going to try later on. Okay, I'm not that interested in the rest of those questions, to be honest. Intriguing. Sounds intriguing, yes. Let's see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. I can't believe the brooms were that the new cheap, to be honest. To enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. Thank you. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Right. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. No pressure. No pressure at all. Here. Now I have that broom. And also increase this one for much better defense but I don't have to look like that do I do I right and th this is where I changed the appearance oh god I thought I had to run around looking like that cool cool beans do we have any better gloves we do actually have some quite a lot better gloves to be honest so take those change the appearance to look bad ace oh yes absolutely love that 
Dark Arts Dueling Gloves. Beautiful! Now, I think I'm ready here. Still a lot of posts and stuff. And there I got the next quest, which is also quite great. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Indeed, but now I want to know how I start... How I pick up my broom. Maybe that's something that I haven't learned yet. But still, it would be very nice to know. And look up, mount. Fly up, fly down, sprint, fly faster, walk. Dismount. Right. Look at that dodge. Just holding dodge. Would help me do the transparency thing, but that doesn't work. Okay. That doesn't work to take off with a broom, but... Now I am done here at Hogsmeade. So I think I can just fast travel back to Hogwarts real quick and make sure hmm, the room of requirement in the shadow. No, where the heck? This. This is the one that I'm going for. I need to return to Gareth and then. We need to see. I mean, I do want Sharp's assignment, the Depulso spell. And Cofringo. Oh, so many things. So many things to do. First of all, let's do uh, give our do our delivery to Gareth. So that he will be happy with us. Where are you, my boy? And are you having dinner, perchance? No idea what time it is. My character very rarely eats. He's like a cow. He just re reuses the food all the time. Right, where are you? Gareth, 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 Gareth. Nothing of importance here. And there you are. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Indeed, I Hello, was. Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them! Incredible. Hmm, for a fee? No, let's just... Eh? No, just give me. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Cool. So, that's one quest finished. Oh, and that means that I can't fly there. That's something that I'll work out on uh, on my own time. But for now, we have another quest, and I would love to learn the Depulso spell. So I will actually be going for Professor Sharp's assignment. And where are you? I wonder. Acquire and use a Focus Potion. Acquire Maxima and Adurus Potions and use them simultaneously. Okay, so I just need to go back to Hogsmeade again and buy myself some... Uh, Buy myself some potions. But first of all, mustn't forget to keep collecting my things that I grow, you know? My growing stuff. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I I must imagine that it was quite inconvenient. Thank you. Even more Dittanese. And those things regrow every ten minutes. And I will most likely just have to spend money on buying these potions. So, back to Hogsmeade it is. Let's see, you are Mr. Potions guy, aren't you? So first of all, we'll drop down and west in West Hogsmeade. Not a lot of action in this episode, Sometimes I imagine. all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. All roads lead to Hogsmeade, especially when that's where you want to go. Pippin, hello. Healing potions uh, are a Focus, here. Maxima, Chicken. and Aduros. But he also had a quest, so we'll take that one first. Yes, I do. 
A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Mm. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Oh, that sounds awesome. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. I surely hope so as well. In her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. So, and also, I do need to buy some stuff. First of all, switch back to the quests in mind so we don't so we know exactly what it is that we want. Focus potion, Maxima Edurus. What can I do for you today? Let's see. Uh, oh my. Focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Edurus. Maxima. That's an expensive quest, I might add. Uh, Wigan Weld. Never. A wise decision. Thank you. Never a bad idea to buy some Wigan Weld. Right. I hope to see you again. I Get bet you do. So now we should just use the focus potion and also use the Maxima and the Duras simultaneously. I wonder. I wonder if we can fly somewhere if we run to the outskirts. Like, because you can see that little icon that allows flight. Uh, press tab and then three to equip the broom on your tool wheel. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> And three. Ooh! Look at that! You can't enter while mounted. But cool! Now we know uh, how that works. So, Fatima. Or should I just. Mel Sweet Leaves. Should I just use. Um, uh, should I just use the potions right away? That's an expensive one in that case. So no, let's just um, actually start with another quest and hopefully we'll have to use those potions some other some other time. Meet Professor Weasley in the seventh floor corridor and also learn a curse with Sebastian. Right, Sebastian, that's what we're going to do. Learn a curse. And actually, I can fly there now. And that goes a lot quicker. Doesn't look like I can use spells from the broom though. Too bad. And wee, and wee. So, and now I should be Parking. There we go. Beautiful stuff. I've used so many of those cabbage heads wrongfully. Revelio. In the absolutely wrong way. Okay, I heard. Field guide page, but that's not my highest priority right now. I just need to get to Sebastian. So that I can learn a curse. These Dedalian keys, man. Really getting on my nerves. Revelio. And that owl has already been opened. I also desperately want to learn 
the first level of Alohomora as well. Nothing of interest out here. Still a lot of running. To meet my fellow friend Sebastian. There you are. I am dressed okay. for the occasion. Let's get jiggy with Sebastian, it. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me. And that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. But something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Right, first of all, I would actually like to change... Focus Potion, the Maxima, and Edurus. I, those two I was supposed to use simultaneously. But the Focus one... I believe I can use whenever, basically. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Ooh, I wonder what I'll learn. Oh, Undercroft. Cool! Never seen this one before. But at least I'm dressed for the occasion. How did I know how to open that? And Sebastian just... Okay, I thought he was gonna go with me. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelio. He named it the Undercroft. Ominous we Gaunt. We used to play dog shows here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Absolutely. I've never confided in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We That's used beautiful. to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Isn't Voldemort uh, a gaunt? Or something like that? Partly, at least. Revelio! No field guide pages or anything, but I have taken, opened every chest available. Let's see what more you have in store. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says the, the wand, wand chooses, chooses the, the wizard. wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway. The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Really? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. Come a on. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Great. I mean, if we can learn to set things on fire, we should be able to learn how to, get to the feel for blow it. shit up. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Right. So, we go this way, and it's space, click, space, space, F. And F. Booyah, Kasha, and that's my second um, damage, oh, third damage spell. It. Ready to actually try it out? Indeed, Stick I Stick to am. the targets, though. Best 
Assign new spells. Right. I want Confringo. On that one, I need to learn more control spells. Mm. And I will be learning the pulse, though, if I just use the potions. Detect. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Ravelli. Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Insetics. Okay, that was the wrong one. There we go. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You're that's it! Feels amazing! Boom! Well done. That was a good range. Even didn't even blow that much stuff up. Repair all. Hello, let's talk again. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spells This is like exactly this. the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. I don't want to impose, though. If your sister is unwell, she may not want visitors. Meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. Trust me. Well then. She misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Very well. Let me know when and I'll meet you. That was Cheers. like a hoot. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I actually think that I will change my appearance a little bit, so when I'm at school, I will not run around in this Death Eater stuff. And I will save that for my um, extracurricular activities. I'll tell you, you the truth. You promise to keep this between us. Let's I trusted go. you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can ages. help Ages, he's like 15. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Absolutely. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Awesome. So, now we're done here in the Undercroft. Rebellion. There's nothing more here for us to do, really. But I would love to, before I end this episode, wait for a... Uh, wait until it's uh, light out. And maybe use my broom and go and uh, use my potions. Oh no. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. I will not sell out Sebastian. That Rooms called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Oh, damn. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. 
I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You do not threaten me, boy. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh, damn. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo. Okay, that didn't work. At least we finished that quest, though. And now I would love to use some of my potions. So. Hmm, I'm wondering which... I think I have a pretty good... Selection of spells right now as it is. However, it's night time out, so... That makes it... That makes for a perfect opportunity... To go out and hunt some... Bad wizards, perhaps. Also, I should really start doing these uh, Merlin Trials quests. But I really need to buy some Mallow Sweet Leaves for that. So, Lower Hogsfield, that might be a hoot. And Hogsmeade. I know that we have things to fight out here in the Forbidden Forest, but spiders? No, not a big fan. First of all, yeah, maybe we can start down here. And we should quite immediately come into a flying zone as well. And first of all, the focus, and I can just use... Well, fair in a little place like this. I could just use all of my, uh, all the potions at once as soon as I get into trouble. Revelio. There are a lot of collection I chests. Thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. We're gonna build a potion. Awesome. Hello, On. I'll talk to you soon, friend. Uh, collection updated. Corkscrew, light and dark. Habala habala. Noise. Hello, On. What's Pardon up? Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought oh. it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. Oh, no. My paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve Too them. dangerous, you I say? I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. Something's it telling me circumstances. that I just found... That I just found um, after what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, a I really be surprised at what happened to Arn. Good way to find uh, to test my potions. Something down here, you say? Beasts, welcome. Revelio. That's a field guide page. Collect. Uh, the Hebridian Black is a large dragon that can grow to over 9 meters in length. 
A large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. You don't say. Spiders. Oh no. Can I pick stuff up? I'm flying. Ooh, I can. Right. Ooh. How magical isn't this stuff? I guess the balloons are um, have a purpose as well. An encampment. This must be it. Okay. So you can collect the balloons, etc. I don't know what that's good for, though. Looks as if there's more than one way to end. Arthur will regret not joining us. He doesn't come round now. He'll be made even more of an example. Right. We should have killed that traitor arm when we took his cart. Okay, so this is the camp. And I did get the upgrade so that... I will be invisible for quite a long time. Or rather... Um, that it's more difficult for them to find me once I am invisible. Such arrogance. Oh, damn. Oh, now it worked. Why have you not run away? It's it's oh, that one worked beautifully. Boom. Oh, that is so cool! I love it! Okay, it was way too slow with that one. Oh, no, that one worked. Okay. Seem to be a lot of them around here. So we'll just have to do our absolute best now, don't we? Oh, damn, that one worked. Oh, and those freaking... Oh, right! Come on, and then... And then... And... Then... So hopefully, that will work out a lot better now. And boom. There appears like there should be more of them here. Where are you? First of all, getting some more health out of this shiznit. And some boom. Beautiful. That actually worked out quite nicely. Just one person left. And I believe this is something of importance as well. But, free the cards from the encampment. And then I guess they will be traveling on their own. And I have a Merlin trial here, but I do not have any more of those leaves now, do I? Nope. I do not. Right, uh, just killing the last, um, the last goblin should finish this. Where are you? And I can't transport through things either. Interesting. Well. There we go. Is he somewhere around here, I wonder? That's a chest. And... Lift it up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where are you? There you are. There you are. That's exactly what I said. Are you telling me that I'll have to run around to fight you? That's it, wasn't it? That actually worked out quite nicely. And a an good old incendio seems to have worked wonders. And how about a... No, that was the wrong one. Fringo. That didn't open the gate. How about... Accio. Nope, oh, can you use Accio on that one? Free the cards from the encampment. Right, the gates are open. Now I just need to find. Okay, it was just that easy. Open the cards. Run! You're free! The, the cards are returning to arm. Revelio. And we can take this opportunity to take some stuff as well. That is great. And those things. That didn't just open, did it? I can't climb it. You need to run around it. But when I have picked up some of those leaves that I most likely should be buying. Then I will be... Uh, Making a real effort on. Incendio. Oh no. On. Uh, doing the Merlin trials. And I do believe that if I go down without going for my broom, I can open that Rebellion. chest. And I can do Revelio here as well. Interesting. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Yeah, I'd love to, but unfortunately I don't have any of those leaves. Uh, but if I do keep casting Revelio, nothing else for me to find here, really. So, let's return to Arn, and then we will be wrapping this episode up for today. So you eventually did get some action, so happy for you. Love this flying part. Just need to get uh, better at it. No way those... Uh, those cards have already gotten over to Arn. And... Ooh, yuck, yeah. Hello, dear friend. I'm afraid I still on. Don't. I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them. Well, wrong. I did prove them wrong by killing them. So I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. My paints. <gasps> You know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Right on, brother. That sounds wonderful. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Beautiful. And now that I've finished that, should also all the best to you. Should also have um the sharps assignment finished. So now I just need to attend potions class and then I'll learn the pull, so that's great. And also I need to go to the room of requirement. Have some more quests to do, but this will be it for today. So, to wrap it up, we have uh, hung out with Sebastian, we learned uh, Confringo, 
And also, that was not that one. There we go. And also, we've uh, learned how to fly and got our first broom. I'm really excited to learn how to use that one much more efficiently than I am currently. And also, maybe, do you have any of those leaves? Might be too early to ask for those, though. Um, and also, now that uh, thing works. Looks like I only needed to get into combat to kind of unlock it. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, if you watched it this far. Any tips or tricks or requests, feel free to write them down in the comment section below. And also, if you would like to see more of Hogwarts Legacy, consider jumping into my friend Dystrophy's channel. I will, uh, I will uh, link that one right up here below. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. Oh.